Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to the battle talk with PS, which is me, and I have with me Genio, which is that way, and KB, which is the other this, that way. Hello, Genio and KB. Hi. Hi there. Hope you hope you're having a great day so far. How has yeah. how has the bite battles been for you? Have you been excited with them? Did you see anything interesting? I mean, after I mean after the last love bite, my expectations were kind of high because it was so nice and uh yes i had definitely have seen good things here yeah which one which one was your favorite from all the matches that we saw i i can go quickly through each one of them i don't know if we can remember all of the effects but uh gas man versus observer also known as fms cat had uh, a baldy oh. cat tag mm -hmm. it was, uh, that was a pretty interesting matchup what did you what did you guys think about that one I knew that I knew that if Gasman was in, I would have. I mean, Gasman doesn't go for the ordinary ever, um, <laughs> so it's always extraordinary with him. And so that he actually did that cat, um, I absolutely like it. I mean, effect-wise, it's a bunch of circles, but still, it has a concept. It fits the theme perfectly. Was it really baldy though? It felt like more of a fluffy cat, not a real like. I, 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 kind I, of I, cat. I, I thought one of those cat clocks, like the one. Ah, that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And FMS cat, despite being a cat, it didn't do an effect that seemed no. like a cat. It did like just some particle stuff, which looked pretty cool, uh -huh. but it wasn't like the keyword. So how close are how are people supposed to vote? Are they supposed to follow the keyword, or is it just like generic? How, how did you guys handle that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> you didn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> you you thought long and hard and decided to not vote at all. Um, no, well, yes, uh, yeah. Ish. I don't know. I think I think the, the the if 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 you really stick to the point, like to the rule that you have to follow the the, the theme, then I mean, then th there's a big no no there for observer. But uh, but I think the effect was quite stunning. So I, I'm mm -hmm. not really sure what the rules are. That yeah. do we decide if if they didn't stick to the theme, we should vote otherwise? I don't know. But I really like this effect. Uh, but then again, I was really, it was so entertaining to see the, the tail of the cat going <laughs> and the uh, occasional glitch of the, the, the feedback going. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm really undecided. Really, I'm undecided. Very, very curious to see what what goes up next. Uh, then we had Tomcat versus myself, which yeah. the keyword was bounced. I was a, a last minute addition or a last mm -hmm. hour, like three hours before thing killed by a pixel could not join. So I stepped up. I finally passed through the list and uh, managed to <laughs> crash tick 80, which was fun. Yes, that was my question. <laughs> what happened? At some point, the code disappeared and then it appeared. Oh, shit, it's all gone. I only did a loop with nine to the exponential of nine, and then suddenly everything froze. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even it. I don't even got, know the code, and she called me a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> everything apparently tick eighty freezes when you have loops that are very long. It oh, probably yeah. doesn't even freeze. It actually does that very very long loop, but just it's takes very, very long, long time yeah. to process. Yeah. Yeah. So luckily, I took like a, a snapshot of the thing, and I just rewrote the whole code. Uh, wasted like a minute or two. Uh, Blackle had a similar similar thing on yeah, her on her yeah. thing, but she it wasn't the same bug. She actually found a new bug. She was trying to do a plus equal on Lua, which apparently is illegal, or plus equal with a sinus function, something like that, mm -hmm. and it actually removed all her code from the tick eighty editor. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't even have the backup because on the system that we use for the, for the Tick80 network, it's actually saved on a .dat file, which I didn't knew when my my version crashed. But Blackall knew this information. She went look into it. No, nope, it's also empty. So uh, I just have to recode right. everything from scratch. So she actually got like five extra minutes to uh, catch yeah, up yeah. with uh, with what she lost. We found a lot of great bugs to submit to the Tick80 community, though. So I guess that's a mm -hmm. plus. <laughs> uh, uh, that's something very interesting about these battles because, uh, I mean, we were used all, all these years to see the, the shader showdowns and the shader royale. 
and uh, they, they all have this thing of uh, you know of who's getting the, the right effect at the right time and everything. But the the byte size, the byte limit, this really brings another excitement excitement to whoever is watching yeah. because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and we had a couple of uh, people that went uh, over the the limit. Uh, but still, you're, you're really rooting for. Come on, get it, get it, get it in size. Get, get. Oh, two, two sixty-three or two sixty-seven. Oh, come on, back, back. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no, yes. No, 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 no. Just type. No. <laughs> Put it in one line. Come on, do something. <laughs> All right, my favorite one of those was actually Newson. Newson had a, this like small, like it seemed like feedback effect. We had an extra line dragging that looked so much better than the final effect, but he had to remove yeah. it because he didn't have enough yeah. size to to include it. That happens a lot in those contests, I think. I mean, we had we had that last year, uh, uh, last time also. So yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, stuff and going back, great. going back to the battles themselves. Uh, Tomcat yep. versus me. Tomcat's effect was actually pretty darn good. He had, did like a ray casting thing. Like what the fuck? It, it, I yeah. think it's actually kind of ray marching, like in a big grown ass shader. <laughs> That was um, really yeah. impressive. But in software, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you lost. Like, by the way. one of the reasons that I never participate on the Shader Showdowns is, but I can't, I can't get bothered to uh, memorize all the ray marching code because you need to keep doing it every single day or every single week to, you know, get mm -hmm. it memorized into your head. Or at least, mm -hmm. uh, LJ burned me a little bit when I said that to him for one time. He said, "Well, if you just know what you're doing, it's rather easy to set up." I was like, ah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I needed that. Uh, so yeah, but I never bothered to to memorize all that. And that's one of the mm. reasons that I never really participate on Shadow Shadow, apart from the fact that I suck at it while other people are awesome at it. Uh, but uh, it doesn't feel like you have that doing on, on Tick 80 and Louis. You don't have to memorize a lot of stuff to just get going. And now yep. Tomcat is bringing us back to that level. Like you have to memorize Ray Marching Code all over again. I don't I don't I don't think you I don't think this will now mean that every tick 80 <laughs> my uh, bit, uh, by battle thing will now be ray marched so uh I mean I, I mean it's a thing it's a thing you can do but it's still still he didn't have colors in there yeah and it's it's basi it's basically a sphere in the cube so uh I don't <laughs> I mean, I mean, of course, please surprise me and show that there's way more than this possible. But I think he pretty much used the limits already. Okay, so maybe it's yeah. just a one-trick pony. Oh my god, this will haunt me. But okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the next year, KB at this talk, he said that you couldn't do more than a sphere and a and a, and oh, a, oh, and a cube. And inspired well, someone to tell me I'm wrong and. To show off okay fine <laughs> yeah i hope already tomorrow on, on the quarterfinals this yeah. will already happen because uh you know it's uh <laughs> it's already tomorrow so um you never know. yeah yeah it, it was it was very interesting also what you said about it's so easy and so fast well easy i, I don't know shit about code but uh i, I think it was pestis like after two minutes he had already like a full-blown effect mm -hmm. Just like in in under two minutes, it was impressive. It was really I, I didn't know that was possible. It was so fast and yeah. so apparently easy, just of a <laughs> some lines of code, and I I was I was amazed by it. It it was and 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 then and then uh, I think uh, F Floppin said something uh, quite interesting. This is like um, that people somehow should should balance the the way they progress towards the, the 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 timing of the battle because if it's done already so so early what are you going to do like you're not you're not running a show you're not entertaining people because you're already <laughs> showing everything in the beginning it's like mm. i mean are you isn't that impressive <laughs> that you do it already in, in the first two minutes i don't know i mean you, you can iterate uh, i was talking with super yeah. rogue about that like he likes to do the effect immediately and then iterate a few different versions and try to find the best version <clears> of it to leave <throat> us the final one so that's and also way to... get it down to 256 bytes. That's yeah. the next. Yeah, yeah. That that's useful if you don't want to get disqualified. <laughs> 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 anyway, next battle that we had was Yobe versus Dresden Boy. It was also pretty cool. They had dragon as the keyword. Yes. Dresden Boy proven proving that you only need three triangles to do a dragon. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yobe had this awesome flame effect. I really like Yobe's uh, yeah. effect on yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, it was really amazing. But but you had to imagine the dragon. That's true. <laughs> but it's just off screen. Come on, he's off screen. <laughs> Slightly off screen. Right there. Just just pan it. Yeah. Just yeah. pan it. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you put... Joby did just a very, very, very zoomed in version of the thing that Dress did. Come on. <laughs> if you have multiple monitors, you can open the drag it yeah. in one of them and you put Joby's effect on the other one. Yeah. Yeah. It's right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I also, I, I also really like what Dresden Boy did. I mean, it was very, in, the, in basically most literal sense, it was a bit primitive, but uh, but 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 it's definitely 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 a thing that you can do. Like, um, okay, I'm not going for one effect; I'm going for a whole thing that shows the whole thing. Oh, the actual I'm, keyword. I'm running out of words. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah. it was yeah. still entertaining yeah. to see. Mm -hmm. So. Definitely yeah. curious to see the result of that one as well. Then we had Pestis versus Black Hole, which we already talked a little bit about. I loved both effects. I think both of them were really yeah. cool. Mm. Uh, Pestis, I have an interesting story because I was the one. I single-handedly brought Pestis into the Thick 80 scene. He was commenting Ooh. on one of my 256 bytes uh, intros from Chaos Constructions, and he put a piggy on it. He dared <laughs> put a piggy on my production. And I trolled him on Discord saying that he just doesn't understand art and he doesn't understand the glitch art and he doesn't understand the pain of having noise in a glitch art production. He doesn't understand the cost of changing the border color and uh, <laughs> that he would need to battle me to the death to prove to redeem himself. And he took on the challenge. He did a yeah. 256 bytes for Flash Party, and now he's participating on, on Love Bite. <laughs> so <laughs> he's quite people, talented. Uh, yeah. He did a lot of. He, yeah. He's been doing great stuff. So uh, really cool to see him. P.S. Accusing people that they don't understand the art. It's like it's 2003 all over again. Yeah, I also had very familiar flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I made people active on Tick 80. Just remember that. This one person. Hey guys, uh, guys from uh, uh, from the awards, uh, don't forget PS on the on the sin spirit thing yes. again. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Give me a special award. Brought more new people in the Tick. I think Super Rogue might win that one instead of me though. <laughs> He's been talking with a lot of people who like never coded Tick 80 and they show up for mm -hmm. the bite battle. It's clearly because Super Rogue asked them directly. Like Black Hole never touched Tick 80 and she participated. And uh VC as well. Uh, a lot of different people here. Um, so yeah, really cool to see. Anyways, yeah. I did like both of the effects on this uh, particular match of Pestis versus Black. I'm really curious who's going to win that one. Uh, what's your opinion? Who do you think is going to win? I think Pestis. I, I think. also think Pestis. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was okay. unfortunate, absolutely unfortunate for Black. Yeah. The whole thing, but uh... okay. I mean, the the, yeah. the, the the effect was beautiful, no doubt about it. But uh, Pestis was just. I think more in the theme and a bit more impressive visually. Uh, I, I think I would go for it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Then we had Ventratronic versus Popolon, and the yeah. keyword was liquid. I commentated that one, it was really cool. Uh, both of them were pretty good effects. I lean towards Ventratronic mostly because he bashed me during the. the... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the code. So <laughs> props for that. Uh, but Popolon did a pretty cool effect as well. Both of them definitely stick to the theme, which was liquid. <clears throat> which one yeah, is I, I think, your favorite? I think, I think with this one, it's basically basically a bit of a battle like code versus aesthetics because like Popolon was really <clears throat> Popolon was really more like doing the I said technically more simple but very fitting stuff. And uh, Mantratonic Mantratonic went more for okay, let's do math. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So, but I think actually that Popolon's uh, entry is a bit more pleasing aesthetic, uh, aesthetically. With a green but, background, where did you see ever yeah. a green background? Are, are you looking at lakes? Have you been? Yeah, why not? And the lakes are uh, water. It's, it's, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. No, Technically no, no, speaking, that, that, la lakes that, do have liquids. That, yeah, that, yeah. that is true. <clears throat> um, Moving on, Super Rogue versus Exotic Horn. I I I was gonna say that I didn't see that one, but it says here on the notes that I did comment. So I guess I did see. I just don't remember it anymore. It was the square ones. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. Yes, yes, yes. Super Rogue had that uh, the cube particles thing, things. which was exactly. ended up being yeah. a cube, and Exotic yeah. Corn did like this whole isometric view kind. Of, well, no, yeah. it wasn't isometric, but it it had perspective into yes. them. So yeah. both yeah. of them yeah. really cool effects. Yeah. So which one was your yeah. favorite from these two? Oh, uh, I I tend to go with Exoticon here because it's this just more happening. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, 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 I like to see the, the fake 3D effect on, on Super Rogue and thinking, oh, that's impressive to see on TKT. Yeah. Uh, as, as, I mean, Exotic Garden was a lot of happening, but also it was, it was a bit two-dimensional. Okay. So, I don't know. You know what was missing on Exotic Horn? A tunnel. He missed the tunnel yes. because all yep. of his entries yes. at outline had a tunnel on it. So that that's but that's he put Starfield behind it, which is just one more bit attention to detail. And even should have been a tunnel, line. Starfield. Then he would have gotten the points. I think I think <laughs> that's that's he changed the tactic for the worst. Just because he lost in the final, it doesn't mean that he had a bad uh, a bad a bad Perfect. thing going. <sighs> So uh, that that's my food for thought. Okay. Anyways, we next up we had All Droid versus VC, and the theme was a Garden. I did not see this one; it was Super Rogue and Flopine that uh, commentated. So I'll leave it to you guys to tell me what was it like. Was it cool? Was it awesome? Did they stick <clears throat> to the theme? I think uh, VC started really well, mm -hmm. and uh, but then he he just missed the point of of the of of, of the keyword. Yeah. I think. It was a pity because I really dig the effect. It was so nice, the like the the kind of noise background and the first demo or die, and he had to cut or die just demo. <laughs> and um, yeah, and mm. and I mean, Altroid, they did an awesome job with the, with the gradient. Then they had to cut a bit the because it was yeah. uh, the bytes were yeah. not really forgiving. <laughs> oh. uh, I think Altroid stick to the theme, so there's a bit more yeah. points to them for that. <laughs> It's 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 interesting that in th this case both were like uh, entries where I li I like the version in the middle better than the version in the end. Also for Eldroid a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the so size limit. Size the limit final, is a bit. The final, the final result is a bit plain with Eldroid, but but it's it's still yeah. like it and it fits the theme. So uh, absolutely no complaint yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, and the last matchup we had was Nusen versus Gopher, which was really <sighs> awesome. A battle of the champions, yeah. champion Jesus. of love by champion yeah. of crazy. Outline. I was, I, was, everywhere. I was looking forward to that one, and I was not disappointed in the slightest, so to say. So, so, so really, yeah. th those yeah. are proper tentacles. Yeah. 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 I was um, a bit skeptic if Gopher's version could really be considered tentacles, but I guess technically it is, even if it's a bit 2D. Kind of a weird digital fire wheel made of tentacles. It's yeah, fine. yeah. It looks it look more yeah. psychedelic yeah, than tentacly. And do the tentacles have balls like that? I mean, they, they are do. on I one mean, they, side. They, they, they do have suction cups, but, but not. They have suction cups, but not balls that are thicker than the tentacles itself. You know, like like this, like. Yeah, then again, is anyone here a biologist? <laughs> <laughs> do we really know that? Yeah, we, we don't. I mean, more time with tentacles to realize the inner intricacies of of the <clears throat> suction cup yeah. that they have. Yeah. Did yeah. you know and that I mean, octopus I... suction cups can smell? Yes, and you know I each tentacle know. in the octopus has its own brain. I did. I didn't know that. Yes. So actually, mm. we know a lot about tentacles. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the thing about Newson and Gopher, and I mean, without the disrespect to the other contestants, because they did really amazing stuff. It's like mm. when you have on, uh, you know, on the group stage on Champions League, like uh, Brian Monique against Barcelona or something like that, yeah. or FC Porto, <laughs> uh, which is like you know, it, it's a. Anticipated yeah. final, really. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, th th that was by far the, like my most favorite effect to yep. to see. Also for me, yep, definitely. Yep. <clears throat> uh, who do you think is going to win the whole thing from the from the these battles that we had on the first round here? Do you have any predictions or favorites? <sighs> Seriously, that's, uh, dude, easy that's questions. Really... Easy questions. Just pick one. We have sixteen people. You can pick me if you want. I don't mind. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't tell. I really can't say. I have no idea. Okay, let's make it easier. One out of all these effects that you saw, which one was your favorite? Can you say that? Mm, I tend with actually Tomcat and Newson at this point. Okay. Yeah. Gino? Um I really liked I really liked uh Newson as well. As I told, it was like an anticipated final. But I don't know, I was I mean this this uh uh You've seen Wiggling Circles like before? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I really loved Pestis effect 
as well. Mm. And uh, mm. and I was really amazed by by by, by Tomcat. I mean, this is uh, something that I've never seen in uh, in TKT. So yeah. <clears throat> I would like to extend my 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 guess to Pestis too. I forgot about that one. Okay. Yeah. So we have a top three possible. Thank you for that. That wasn't so hard, was it? Why did you take oh, so much I, time on the first one? I really, I really don't want to to influence people voting, and uh, yeah. you know, it's people. Uh, people that are hearing out there, don't be influenced by Genio or KB. Be influenced by me alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should vote whatever you feel like it's best. Yeah. Don't don't be influenced by the commentators' uh, yeah. opinions in any way whatsoever. Um, other topics for conversation that we have uh, for here, the keyword aspect. What did you think about that? Do you think it was a bit too limiting? Loved or loved No, it, I loved it. it. Absolutely yeah. loved it. Even the baldy cat? Oh, oh, perhaps not every single keyword was brilliant. <laughs> I have no clue what I would have done with a baldy cat. No, I don't... Something I think... I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think the the... the 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 keywords the, they, they have two aspects that are very interesting for me yeah. the first is that uh it really constrains a bit uh what you can do so uh, i think it's always yeah. best like if you have you know an empty canvas and if you constrain yourself to a theme it's uh it this kind of limitation can be very inspiring and the second thing is that it it gives us as well uh, like an, another parameter parameter to to, to judge. Yeah. So uh, like, oh, did he follow? Did he not follow? I think that's really interesting and brilliant idea. And um, maybe it's a nice idea to have in the shader showdown in in the future. Maybe you know. Yeah. But it was yeah. left a bit. In the, they we actually had some shader jams where we did that. Like uh, the participants would suggest a, a few words and we would Russian roulette uh, to pick one of them and they would do the jam based on that keyword. So that was actually where the idea was taken from. Mm, um, also, <clears throat> also what, I, what, what I love is that it gets people out of their comfort zone and that they can't act, they can't memorize their stuff before. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a really impossible. nice. Like if, yeah, if, you, if you've given the topic like right in, in, the, in the beginning of the round, you're basically everyone's back to square one again. So... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and you need definitely. To, to, to apply the stuff that you really know and have learned, like skill wise, and not just copy paste something. I mean, yeah, yeah. nobody's ever I, doing that. I uh, heard that Tomcat was preparing for quite a few of these. Ooh. I heard the rumor <laughs> might or not be true. Tomcat, if you're reading the, the chat right now, feel free to uh, confirm or deny or do neither of them. Uh, to my wild accusations that I just give, but uh, I I heard that he was he actually tried a few things for different ones to to practice a few ideas uh, mm. for them. Yeah. Uh, more, more topics that we had to uh, to talk about uh, livecode.demozoo.org. Uh, it's a website for those who don't know where we list all the live uh, live code things that happens on the on the demo scene was mm -hmm. really useful for me to find out in the middle of the battle like for example what Nusen had won we came up with we were struggling with that with Oki like did Nusen win a revision at some time I just opened oh. up the website and I searched Yay. for Nusen and I found the, all the listing there and all the stuff that he had won previously and uh, it's it's an ongoing website that we keep updating. Uh, Totet Matt has been helping a lot with that, and a few other people as well. Thank you so much for for all your contributions. And uh, yeah, if you don't know any particular information on uh, Shader Showdowns, Shader Jams, Shader Royales, or these byte battles, you can go to livecode.demozoo.org and you see a listing there. Also, how to get started into these kind of battles and the upcoming stuff that is scheduled to happen so for all your demo scene live coding needs you can go to livecode.demozoo.org thank you this <laughs> this announcement sponsored by inertia <laughs> demo party 2005 don't forget to come uh, you know actually uh the, the that's something that that uh, really it was something that was missing like like you you would have uh, in in poet you'd have all in mean, all the winners at demo parties uh except the musicians, you know, and the non-executable -exec graphics, which always pissed me off. Uh, demos who got that, 
but then the, the the whole shader showdown was always like lacking. Like uh, you have to go to the results uh, file and then check. A lot and then of it's... the parties didn't even have it on the results. That's file. true. I, That's true. I had yeah, to go yeah, look yeah, for yeah, the yeah. videos and check all the videos and see if the the announcement would announce. And of course, then they would not say who the DJ set was or who the person was. Yeah. And there's still some stuff missing. Yeah, uh, some information missing, like from Weekend, which was the original party that had the original shader live coding stuff. We still don't know half of the information. We know that Provod won and that there were 16 people, and that's pretty much it. We don't know yeah. who else participated. So kudos to you and to the rest of the team, because that's something that uh, I think it was missing and it's really important. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, more topics that we had to cover on this. Uh, talk about tonight's combos, fantasy console graphics, music, 128 byte <sighs> intro. What are you people Ooh. looking forward to? I'm really, really looking forward to the music combo because I, uh, did you do I, something, Genio, for the music? Of course, combo? of course. Oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> I did. I hope you like it. <laughs> I I'm I I might or might not have done something for the 120 byte intro oh. combo. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yep. Uh, KB, did you did you do anything for the compos? Um, 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 um I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to any of them though? The the graphics, the music. The, I I'm, I'm particularly interested with the graphics because it's such a yep. limiting platform in terms of uh, yep. the number of pixels, the yep. number of colors. That it's 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 going to be interesting to see what people do and if if there is actually any participation from the active demo scene into actually doing some good entries mm. for it. So I'm looking forward to see yep. uh, that the music compo should also be cool because there is a tracker even though it kind of sucks yeah we already we already listed all the issues it's been reported to the tick 80 people eventually <laughs> someone might eventually fix it uh or improve it or leave it as it is mm. uh but uh we, you do have ways to do tracked music on it so it would be yeah. cool to see if uh demo scene musicians who are used to trackers pick it up and do more stuff with it because mm -hmm. it's really hard to find the music for for if you want to do tick 80 demos like most of the most of the demo sceners that you know don't don't know and then you have to I, luckily i did a video explaining how the tracker works so i can just give them the video but still it's a bit hard to get them to to use the the tracker on the tick 80. genio i remember you had a very strong opinion on, <laughs> on making music for the for the tick 80. would you like yeah. to share it yeah, it really sucks. Uh, there are a couple of issues. Uh, the The main issue for me is that uh, after a while, the somehow I don't know if it's my computer, or if not, it's badly set up. I don't know, but it it starts to get really delayed, and I have to just uh, you know just uh, close TKD and reload it because just turn it off and on again. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like I play it, and then like a couple of seconds later, it starts, and then the the mm. role goes completely bananas, and uh, oh. that sucks. Also, the I mean the the the, the Something that comes from you know from from the nineties that you had to draw the samples and everything, but I never I, I missed that part. You know, I always ripped samples, of course, or then I recorded with, with my instruments. Mm -hmm. So I never did this uh, sample drawing thing, and I, I I really I mean I don't know what I'm doing. So I just you know you go you to can just, you can just record something and then look at the waveform, then draw it. Oh, that's oh oh shit! I wish I'd know that one week, like Monday, I could have used it. I wonder what the sinus looks like. Yeah, I, don't I wonder know. if that's I can that's draw that. Why is it called that way? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not a coder. I don't know anything about math. Yep. Uh, KB, did you ever try anything with the Tick eighty? Uh, no, in terms of music I did or try in terms on the of anything. And I did try on the Pico eight, and I gave up very, very, very fast. <laughs> I must say, because, oh god. Yeah, because because, because yeah, I had some stuff in my brain, some 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 mental image, and I didn't get even remotely where I wanted to be with the sound. So I pretty, I pretty much yeah. gave up. I must admit. Yeah. So you you can do it on a Commodore sixty four, but you can't do it on a Pico eight. Well, the oh, how how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we still have okay, about half okay, an hour okay, left. Okay, you, you okay, I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to make enemies here, but um, there is a certain skill difference between the persons Ooh. who designed the sit in the C64 and the people. Sorry. 
Because one is in hardware and the other one is virtual. <laughs> no, more like one has already years experience in audio synthesis and the other probably hadn't. I'm sorry. The good oh. news is that since Stick 80 is open source, you can go mm -hmm. there and implement yeah. your own patches and make cool. it better. Yes, why not? Uh, you were talking about Pico 8, and that's a good segue mm -hmm. into the next topic that we had, oh, which yeah. was... We the wanted jam. to do a small shout out to the Pico 1K Jam. Uh, you can go to itch.io uh, slash jam slash Pico uh, hyphen. Is it called an hyphen? Dash? dash? I don't know. The minus sign. Minus sign 1K. <laughs> dash. 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 Uh, so itch.io itch slash jam slash Pico dash 1K. Uh, it's a competition that's been happening to try to get something within 1K for the Pico 8, and uh, some demo scene guys are active in uh, that, so feel free to check it out. And this party, Love Byte Battlegrounds, also is welcoming to any Pico 8 entries, mm. so uh, uh, would be cool to see more of that stuff as well. Um, other stuff, call to action, uh, you can still vote. Um, we will announce the quarterfinals matchup after this show, so if you haven't voted, go vote now. I hope that uh, extremely biased opinions that we just gave on every different matches will not influence you in any way whatsoever. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you you <laughs> you can vote whatever whatever you way you want. Don't be influenced by Gino and KB. Be influenced only by me. Uh, you yes. already know how this goes. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, this is all the official topics we have, but we still have a few more minutes. So let's talk about whatever, whatever thing we want. How about the party itself? Do you think it was a good idea to organize uh, this, this something just based solely on fantasy consoles? What's your opinion on that, Chino? Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, in, in the past, I was uh, always... What do you think of doing uh, that for Inertia Demo Party? Let's do it only for fantasy consoles. No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, in the past, I, was, I, I always avoided... Um, uh, platform specific parties, you know, like Atari only parties, uh, C64 only parties, Amiga only Hi. parties. Uh, I don't know. Well, first, because I'm not a senior in either of that uh, domain, but, but could also be. I could, but it was not my thing. Uh, but also, if I would be only like, oh, we only make PC demos, uh, this would, I mean, it, I think it constrains a bit the, the, the freedom of people like to create, like just find a platform that you're comfortable with and then be creative on that. That's my opinion. Uh, having said that, uh, when, I, when I was told about this concept, about the TKT and about uh, uh, the whole uh, size coding limit, I was like, mm, I don't know if it's, it's going to work. But I mean, Love Byte was amazing. Mm -hmm. First of yeah. all, the amount of productions, the amount of people that participated and, and uh, the way that it was so... Also, the party was really well organized and, uh, and everything went so smoothly. And uh, I think it's a winner concept. I changed my mind, just mm. like that. Mm. Okay, KB, what about you? Uh, <coughs> um, you. Basically, what Genio said. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I, I, th I think it's. I think it's good. I think I'm always a sucker for new stuff, stuff that hasn't been done yet. So uh, basically, a party just for fantasy consoles. Why not? It's new stuff. So that's definitely a plus for, for me. And. Um, I think I think it works really well, especially in the current times, <clears throat> when when it's not when it's not. I, I don't. I don't uh, let, let me put it that way. If I it don't was think physical, that, it wouldn't be as attractive. People, I don't think that the two hundred people physical party just for Pico Eight and Tig Eighty would be mm -hmm. the best idea. But uh, in an <laughs> online in an online format, yeah, um, where you can, where basically also also uh, the 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 uh, barrier of entry is super low. <laughs> You can just get one of those and just get somewhere within a few days of work and um, present it to each other and have fun. And this is basically what the whole scene is about. So uh, I like it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm watching it. Yeah. I, think that I agree. I the... totally agree with, with KB. I think if it would be a physical event only dedicated to fantasy consoles or size coding, I think it would be a bit uh, restrictive. Uh, it really works in this format, and people, you know, they just browse or just they're at home and just 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 watch it and have fun and have some beers, and, and it's another weekend well past. 
I think like a, a, a physical party, I would expect a little bit more. I would expect uh, not platforms. I would expect uh, full blown demos and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, any last topics we want to cover? Uh, what is the stuff that you're most lo looking forward to Love Byte Battlegrounds? I'm, I'm mostly looking forward to the 256 byte combo. I think it's going to be massive. Not sure if mm. anyone is doing any demos uh, in particular, but I know 256 bytes, everyone always does something and they usually are mind blowing. So that's my highlight of, uh, of what I'm looking forward to. What about mm. you guys? Well, I'm looking forward for my concert that will happen just after this. Oh, ah. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward actually, but uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, can you, the, can uh, you tell us a little bit of a teaser what it's gonna be like, or should should we have to stay tuned in to find out? Is Igor still there? <laughs> Igor, if you can listen to us, <laughs> knock three times. I know you're you know, locked in the bathroom. I really got upset uh, because of that. Because, you know, I, everyone I, I, remembers I, Igor. I no one remembers Genius. I had a tremendous amount of work doing that. And then everybody asks for Igor. Nobody asks for me or even, even oh. Ob. I mean, he worked his ass off, you know. And uh, I think that's unfair. But yeah, uh, the, it's, yeah, but, it's but, going to be very simple. Um, you will see. Uh, but I'm really looking forward for the um, for the music compo, as I told. Um, also, there are um, great seminars coming up, coming tomorrow. Uh, the Pico Eight uh, with with Job and the uh, TKT Sascoti with Super Rogue. Those are really interesting mm -hmm. to see, I think. And um, yeah, and I'm really looking forward as well for the final of Bike Battle. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm. I'm kind of divided. I think we already saw so much good stuff that the final can't really overcome this. But let, let's wait to be let's wait. Yes, and, let's and be, be wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're gonna wrap things up. Uh, any last words of wisdom, KB? Anything you would like to? Um, I think. Um, not really. No. Just enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Genio. Yes, I. I, I I hope everybody's having fun. I hope everybody's having a beer and then watching some crazy stuff, coding. Uh, some people uh, are doing an amazing job, and I think they'll be, they have to be commended. Um, don't forget to stay true, and uh, don't forget to come to National Demo Party 2021, which will be next month. 31st of October. Be there or at least yeah. participate remotely. Sorry for the shameless plug, Super Rogue. Yeah. You know, we are double the organizers here. <laughs> no one from the, the yeah, actual also, organizing also. team to kick us out. So and uh, oh, it, oh actually, it's so actually. Unfair. I don't have I don't have anything to plug at the moment. It's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also have to, uh, hey, to give I many, heard. many, many thanks Ooh. to Super Rogue and Hayfock and everybody organizing this because I think this is a brilliant idea and I think it's so well done and uh many many thanks to those people that are working their asses off just for our entertainment, entertainment yeah, definitely they, they, the original love bite was uh quite an overwhelming endeavor from super Rogue. i thought he was being overly ambitious and for a team mm -hmm. of two they definitely were in my humble yeah. opinion uh, i hope they learned their lesson a little bit they toned it down uh, but still kept the quality and it got a little few more people involved yeah. and uh, i think it's been a great event so far and i hope everyone will enjoy it the thing i was gonna flame k before was that i heard you were an organizer at deadline so you should plug that no, i'm actually not an organizer at deadline they tried to make me an organizer in the first deadline i even have this badge that says kb not an organizer just <laughs> official organizer badge, just but not and scribbled in front of it <laughs> and um no i actually completely trust them to throw a really really great party that i'm absolutely looking forward to okay well uh that's it from this segment hope you enjoy enjoy the rest of uh, love bite battleground stay tuned apparently for genius concert i i have no clue on the schedule uh it's see, now. It's see now. Around. everything is ready here it's already is playing ready. it's already <laughs> right now <laughs> anyways bye bye everyone take care yeah, yeah. bye 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 yeah